The Baptiste Brothers presents From the Memoirs of John J.J. Baptiste Sr. A Stranger Story Written by James Baptiste Adapted from the short film A Stranger Story A screenplay co-written by Alonzo Waller and Tanya Gray Performed by Michael Dwight Baptiste Jr. Chris Ford Brandy Riggs Gerald Pennington Emerald Khan Centria Grace Williams and Bill Haas. It's a fall morning. The air is brisk and there are high clouds partly blocking the sun. Strangers are seen sitting on a bench staring aimlessly at passengers as they make their way toward the hissing train. Train passengers have begun arriving at the station. Families and friends are seen embracing and saying their final goodbyes. John J.J. Baptiste Sr. and wife Estelle are walking locked arms across an open grassy field that borders the train platforms. They stop adjacent to one of the train cars and stare lovingly at one another. Estelle hands John a rose. John takes the rose and holds it next to his heart. They kiss. Now you be sure to telegraph me when you get there. What's that for? For you not to forget. Oh, I won't. I have you right here. John makes his way down the center aisle of the passenger box car. He eyes an empty seat and sits down. Approaching John, is a well-dressed gentleman. Meet Jonas Bridges. He stops and speaks to John. Mind if I want to see the cross from you, young man? No, sir. Right ahead. Thank you. Bridges is my name. John Batiste. Pleasure to meet you. You can call me John. Where you from, John? You are. Yeah. Man, I show Miss Home too. Where you from? Mississippi. Jackson. Served in the Army during the Depression. Got discharged. Doctor said something wasn't right with my head, so they sent me back home. Hmm. Where you headed? Vancouver. Vancouver, Washington. You see this hand right here? Get me out the military. Heard it a while back in the car wreck. I've been all over New York, chauffeuring, cooking. You name it, I ain't done it. Now, headed to Vancouver to start my new gig at the shipyards. Come a little later, you know, grab my family up, bring them on. A man of many talents. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can call it that. I've been living up here in Harlem for a while now, me and my wife Lola. We came up here from Louisiana. She sang up there at the Cotton Club. Hmm. And boy, could she sing. Here's a snapshot of my wife. Man, she sure is beautiful. No offense, but how'd you get a good looking woman like that? Don't be fooled by the looks now. Pure evil's what she turned out to be. I met her in an old juke joint in Pineville, Louisiana. She from New Orleans though, Lola. Lola Bolu, one of them French Creole gals. It was like she was sent to me straight from the heavens above. I remember the first night I saw her.
approached her. Didn't think I had a chance, and I was right. At the time, she wanted no parts of me. got family, John? Yes, sir. Got a one-year-old boy and another one in the other. See this picture right here? It's my beautiful wife and my son, John Jr. We took that picture down in Harlem a few weeks ago at the Bridge Cafe. Where'd you get that book? My sister-in-law sent it to me. She said it would make an interesting read. So far, I hadn't been disappointed. Interesting title. The man who murdered himself. Yeah, it's a murder mystery that seems to be taking a strange twist. Life sometimes does that. Are you a believer, John? Yes, I am. Good. Man needs to keep God as close as he can. I talked to him last night. You did? What you talk about? God told me. Soon I'll be done with the troubles of this world. Soon.
soundtrack arranged and performed by the Batiste Brothers Band. Whatever Lola Wants, published by J&J Ross Company, performed by Emerald Khan. Why Don't You Do Right, published by RCA under BMI, performed by Emerald Khan. The Batiste Brothers would like to thank our Lord and Savior for making this project possible. We would like to thank you, the listener, for taking the time to hear our story. We would especially like to thank the wonderful folks of Dallas, Fort Worth and Austin areas for coming together to help support our project. If you would like more information, please look up our YouTube channel, A Stranger Story Short Film. You can also find information at astrangerstory.film. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless and keep you. Please continue praying. Copyright, A Stranger Story, 2021. All rights reserved.